Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we're going to show you how to install Jurassic Craft 2.0 onto your copy of Minecraft 1.8. We're starting completely from scratch here to make sure everybody understands how to do this. But if you don't quite get it, or something's not quite making sense, or perhaps there's some sort of problem that's on your computer, just leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to help you, and if I can't, I'm sure that somebody out there will be able to. So the very first thing that we need to do to start playing the new version of Jurassic Craft is go and get ourselves a Minecraft 1.8. The best way of doing this is obviously loading up your browser, going to the main Minecraft web page, and once you're there, all you've got to do is download the game itself. Make sure that you've purchased the game already, hopefully you have, uh, and if not then you need to go and do that first. Once you have downloaded and installed Minecraft, you'll be on the Minecraft launcher, hopefully that looks a lot like this one. Rather than hitting play though, we've got to change a couple of settings. We need to head to Edit Profile on the bottom left hand side of the Minecraft screen here, and change the version of Minecraft that's going to be loaded from the very latest version to Minecraft 1.8. Once you've done that, hit save profile and then press play. So, awesome. Minecraft is working and we've managed to get into it no problem at all. The next thing we need to do is actually install Forge, which is the mod loader, to be able to make Jurassic Craft work. It's pretty straightforward, but to do that we've got to quit the game, head back over to the internet and head to files.minecraftforge.net. There'll be all the links down in the description if you want to just click on those directly instead. Once you've done that, you've got to download the Windows installer of the recommended version of Minecraft Forge 1.8. You can make sure that you're on that by clicking the 1.8 link there. And then once again, clicking the Windows installer button. So once Forge has downloaded, all you've got to do is run it, click the Install Client button, Make sure it's linked up to Minecraft OK and press OK. Once that has finished installing, you should get something that looks like this. If you haven't done, what you might need to do is delete all of your Minecraft app data, which I can show you how to do in a little while. But the next thing that we need to do is make sure that Minecraft runs with Forge. So all we've got to do is go back into Minecraft again. And once we're there, make sure that we change our profile from the one that we were using before to the new Forge one that turns up in the profile selection and press play. So once we're on this screen, we can see that Forge is working because in the bottom left hand side, it says Minecraft Forge, three mods loaded and three mods active. You don't need to worry about those three mods. That essentially is the core of the Forge system. But now that's working, that means that we can go ahead and download Jurassic Craft 2.0. There is a direct link in the description of this video, but for the purposes of what we're doing right now, I'm actually going to go directly over to my channel page and click on the most recent video that I've got here. Just pause the advert that's playing there for no reason at all, uh, and then click on the Jurassic Craft link just down there. Now that we've done that, you have the latest version of the pre-download, the pre-release, uh, over in the download section just here. Once you've clicked there, you can download the pre-release of Jurassic Craft 2 just here. Once you have finished downloading Jurassic Craft that you can see in my downloads folder here, the next thing that we've got to do is open up a new window by typing percentage app data percentage into the start bar. That should work for all versions of Windows. Just start typing percentage app data percentage and that'll bring up a new window for us. Be careful here because you don't want to mess with uh, any of the other things that are in this folder, but go into the .minecraft one that we've got there, double click on the mods folder and then drag and drop the Jurassic Craft into the mods folder. Once you have moved that file across, go ahead and reload Minecraft, reload the Forge profile that we talked about before, and then once Minecraft finishes loading, you should find that you're now able to use Jurassic Craft 2.0, which is really, really awesome. We can double check that it's installed by checking the amount of mods has increased from 3 to 6 now active. So once we've checked that, we can go ahead and create ourselves a new world, just make sure that we allow cheats so we can verify that this is definitely working. The first thing that the game should say when it loads up, there should be a Jurassic Craft achievement that you get. But also, if we head into game mode C, 
and head over to the second page here, you should find that we have all of these new eggs, which is absolutely fantastic. There we go. Definitely, definitely working. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope this has been a useful guide for you. If you need any more help, just leave a comment down below. But please make sure to leave a like on this video if it does help you out, because it really helps me out when I get more likes. But until next time, guys, I've been Kaf of the Cast. Thank you very much for watching, and happy playing Jurassicraft 2.0. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.